For number 3, we are going to solve this inequality. Here we have 3x less than 4 plus 5x. Whenever we are solving inequalities, let me just give you a suggestion. This is just a good habit. Let's put all the x onto the left hand side. So, here we have the positive 5x. Let's subtract 5x on both sides. And as I said, this is just a good habit whenever we're trying to solve inequality. Anyways, the positive 5x and then the minus 5x, they cancel. And then we will see that 3x minus 5x, that will give us negative 2x. And then we maintain the less than and the number 4. We keep the same inequality because we didn't do anything crazy. But here is the crazy thing. To get x by itself, here we have negative 2 times x, right? So we have to divide by negative 2. So let's put down divided by negative 2 on both sides so that the negative 2 and the negative 2 cancel. And then we can get the x by itself on the left hand side. And now let's work this out. 4 divided by negative 2. That will give us negative 2. But then the crazy thing is this. Whenever we divide both sides, we'll multiply both sides by a negative number. Once again, when we multiply or we'll divide both sides by a negative number in an inequality, we will have to switch the inequality symbol. So here we divide both sides by a negative 2. So instead of a less than symbol, we will have a greater than symbol. We we'll switch the inequality. Okay? So x is greater than negative 2. That will be the answer. And then this is answer choice C in the answer choices. That's it.